If you're struggling with hyperpigmentation like I did, you need to consider including these six ingredients in your skincare routine. Obviously, you don't have to include all of them at the same time, but these are six ingredients that you should consider. So what is hyperpigmentation? Hyperpigmentation is a skin condition where there's an overproduction of pigment in that specific area of the skin. So that specific area of your skin looks darker than the underlying skin. For example, this spot is a hyperpigmented spot. Hyper means more, hypo means less. So this discoloration is obviously caused by the overproduction of melanin in your skin. And melanin production is controlled by an enzyme known as tyrosinase. So to help treat hyperpigmentation, you must target tyrosinase. And these are where your tyrosinase inhibitors come in to help treat dark spots. The first ingredient is niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3, and I love niacinamide. It's anti-inflammatory, so it's great at treating your post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation this is your hyperpigmentation that is caused by acne or breakouts it also helps to support a healthy moisture barrier and as you know a healthy moisture barrier equals a healthy skin. Now, niacinamide works by inhibiting the transfer of melanin to the surface of the skin, and usually it's effective at a 2 to 5% concentration. Now, it is well tolerated by a lot of people, but there is a small subset of people who cannot tolerate niacinamide. And this is often when it's used in formulations at a higher percentage, let's say greater than 5%, you even have formulations at a 10%. This can cause you to be a little bit more irritated. So I would suggest using it in a formulation that is less than 5%, 2 to 5%. This concentration could be found in a mixed formula, for example, instead of using a solo niacinamide serum. Like for example, the one from The Ordinary or Notorium, I also think the Inculist. A popular dark spot correcting serum that may include niacinamide at this concentration is Faded by Topicals. I know it has niacinamide, but I don't know what percentage. So, but it's, it's a mixture of tyrosinase inhibitors, so I'm guessing it's not more than a 5%. The second ingredient to include is alpha arbutin. And alpha arbutin is a derivative of hydroquinone. So it's not hydroquinone, but it just comes from it, has the same properties, works the same way. It's a gentler and safer alternative to hydroquinone for a prolonged use. And it's one of the most studied tyrosinase inhibitors. It's even more potent than your kojic acid or your vitamin C, so it works really well. One of my favorite alpha arbutin serum is actually the one from The Ordinary. It's at a 2% and it contains hyaluronic acid and I really love this formulation because hyaluronic acid actually helps your ingredients to penetrate better into the skin. Notorium also has an alpha arbutin serum and obviously the dark spot serum from my skincare brand also contains alpha arbutin so make sure that you are subscribed to our email list because you don't want to miss out on this product launch. Number three is a very underrated skincare ingredient in my humble opinion and this is azelaic acid. I have used azelaic acid in the past and I have loved it. It's anti-inflammatory so it's great at treating acne and also rosacea. So if you have acne and dark spots including azelaic acid in your skincare routine is like killing two birds with one stone. Over the counter you will find it below a 15% concentration but prescription can go from 15 to 20 percent. Obviously, the higher percentage would be more effective. If you can get it over the counter and combine it with another tyrosinase inhibitor, chances are that you would see some results. Paula's Choice has an azelaic acid booster that I love. It's 10% azelaic acid with salicylic acid. So if you're suffering from acne, inflammation, dark spots, this serum can potentially help you. Actually, it's not really a serum. It's more like a cream. But sometimes your dermatologist would prescribe like a tretinoin and an azelaic acid, for example, to help treat dark spots and acne at the same time. But obviously this is something that you must discuss with your healthcare provider. The fourth ingredient is actually kojic acid. And no, this is not an exfoliating acid. Kojic acid actually has antioxidant properties while helping to inhibit tyrosinase. Sometimes we forget that there are other antioxidants out there other than vitamin C and this is one of them. Kojic acid also has some antimicrobial properties so if you have acne this may be a great ingredient to include as well. It can be a little unstable and hard to work with so a modified form called kojic depalmitate is oftentimes found in formulations. Don't worry this is also effective. Shameless plug the dark spot correcting serum from my skincare brand has kojic acid in it. You heard it here first. 
<laughs> Number five is licorice root and licorice root has anti-inflammatory properties. It helps to calm down redness. So if you have acne or rosacea, this may be an ingredient that can benefit you. Going back to the Paula's Choice Azelaic Acid 10% Booster, which also has salicylic acid, but I forgot to mention that it also has licorice root, which kind of explains why I really like this product so much. Our Dark Spot Correction Serum from Derm Intellect also has licorice root. So if you have acne and dark spot, using a product that has azelaic acid, licorice root, you're getting the best of both worlds. You get the best get of the both best. worlds. Get Will I get demonetized for that? I'm not even monetized. But what if this video goes viral? Anyways. And number six, the gold standard, the queen herself, that everybody actually is afraid of, is hydroquinone. And I'll tell you, there's no need to be afraid of it. I have used hydroquinone before and it worked somewhat for my skin. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you more about it right now. So hydroquinone has been the gold standard for treating hyperpigmentation for a very long time because it is very effective. But there has been a lot of fear mongering around hydroquinone, but it is safe if used effectively and under the supervision of a doctor or dermatologist. You must, and I repeat, you must consult with a dermatologist before you start the skincare ingredients. Hydroquinone is not for long-term use. This is how you're supposed to use it, and this is how I have used it in the past. I've used it for six weeks, then I took like a five, sometimes six week break, then I reintroduced it again for another six weeks, and this was like my cycle for probably four to six months. You don't want to use it for more than six months at a time. And obviously, if you're going to a dermatologist, they're going to be able to track the progress of your skin to tell you what to do and how best to navigate this hydroquinone journey. It used to be available over the counter in the US. You could just pick up the Ambi cream. This was a hydroquinone cream at a four, was it four or two percent? I'll insert what it was here I think it was either two or four percent but Obagi is a brand that I have used I used their new derm system and this contains four percent hydroquinone it has is a system that has a cleanser sunscreen all those things and a cream that contains four percent hydroquinone Obagi is a brand that some products you have to get it from a physician and the new derm system is definitely a part of this there are instances where your doctor may prescribe tretinoin and hydroquinone at the same time if you're you're struggling with acne and dark spots. It all just depends on you as a patient. Hydroquinone is not safe during pregnancy, so once again, it is important that you consult a healthcare professional before you start this ingredient. There are other ingredients that I did not mention in this video. For example, tranexamic acid, which is a good one at helping to treat melasma. We also have this in my dark spot correcting serum. Maybe we will discuss them in another video because there are other ingredients that maybe you haven't thought about or never heard of that can and help with pigment. I know the emotional tool that struggling with your skin can have on you. I've been able to get my skin to a much healthier state than what it was last year and I'm so grateful that my products actually work. Make sure that you subscribe to our email list because you don't want to miss out on our product launch. And I also have a free hyperpigmentation guide that you can download down below. It has all the basic information about hyperpigmentation that can help to guide you on your journey to having healthier, more radiant skin. Just remember that you are beautiful no matter the current state of your skin and and you got this because skin heals. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Natasha Henry. And make sure that you're following my skincare brand at Derm Intellect also on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be here in my next video. So you better be here too. Bye.